Hey, good evening everybody, Adrian here with Suspect Sky. Today we're taking a look at two top stories. The first is Bayer's acquisition of Monsanto, and the second is the recent discovery of the building blocks of life on Mars. So on June 4th, 2018, the first link that you have there in the YouTube description is that Bayer launched a $7 billion cash call to finance its acquisition of Monsanto. And obviously this represents an alarming convergence of industries when a company as subversive to the public food supply as Monsanto, including its rampant use of genetically modified organisms and glyphosate, uh, which are known to be uh, very detrimental to human health, uh, when they join forces with a global pharmaceutical giant like Bayer. As you can see from the Monsanto homepage, this acquisition deal has closed as of yesterday, June 7th, 2018, with Bayer now being the sole shareholder of Monsanto. Further details on the trade can be found on Bayer's microsite called Advancing Together. And I think the question is, uh, what exactly is now this powerhouse of agricultural and now pharmaceutical, this empire, what are they advancing towards? Particularly because of this next link you can find in the description, which is a list of these, quote, revolving door directorships between Monsanto industry leaders and U.S. government regulatory positions, such as the director of the FDA, the EPA, the Department of, and the Department of Justice. Last week, Bayer overcame numerous regulatory obstacles to complete this acquisition of Monsanto, which in my opinion, likely in no small part, had to do with its rampant infiltration of US regulatory agencies by former Monsanto executives. I think it's also noteworthy to wonder what pharmaceuticals may have to do with a GMO-based food supply, except that it could either be one, to prepare drugs for the population to better resist the negative effects of the increased usage of glyphosate and GMOs, which are known to have a negative impact on human health, uh, or to produce even more glyphosate-resistant genetically modified organisms. Both of these sound like very unregulated mad science fueled by the unholy alliance between big government and big corporations and is just further uh, evidence of the agenda with Monsanto infiltrating itself into all kinds of these U.S. regulatory agencies. But our next top story is a bit more encouraging. NASA announced its findings published in Science Journal that the building blocks of life have been found on Mars. And yes, let's take a quick pause to let that settle in. Organic matter has been found on Mars. It's not quite absolute proof that life does or once existed on Mars, but we now know that it could have existed and likely did by the presence of this organic matter found on the red planet. And this really renewed my interest in something that I've been studying for many years, and that is the presence of unusual structural shapes on Mars that may indicate the prior historical presence of an ancient civilization, and whether this is the precursor to our human civilization or something else entirely. If you've seen our full-length documentary entitled Project Stargate, then you know that the CIA has been remote viewing the Red Planet for decades, as documented in a number of declassified materials, and that they've been searching for signs of an ancient Martian civilization. So if you haven't seen it, I highly recommend that you do, and that you also read the links in the description of that video, which are a direct link to the actual declassified CIA documents related to Project Stargate. It also sparked renewed interest to me in the Sidonian hypothesis and all these unusual structures uh, of the Sidonian region, which markedly have this pronounced artificial signature to it and it appear to resemble advanced architecture. This is the region on Mars found near the famous face of Mars. And if you read through the links found in the description, I think that you will find that the mystery is really far from solved as the region conforms to a rectangular grid and it possesses obvious architectural features related to the tetrahedron. So this is a, a geometric shape uh, and it forms its own type of tetrahedral geometry uh, that a number of individuals have worked out uh, a series of complex mathematical relationships between all these various structures found in this region and it seems to highly suggest uh, that they are artificial in nature. 
So I just want to thank you for watching, and I wanted to remind everybody that we continue to live in some very interesting times. This is Suspect Sky signing off.